I was going to pay for it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you were. Yeah, well, that's the last drink you're getting on this house. Go on, get out. I told you I was going to pay for it. I always pay for my drinks. Even for your watered-down gin. Now, don't come the innocent with me, you bastard. He's a bastard. His name is Richard Blaney. He's a right bastard. You pair of bastards. Yeah, Blaney was a thief. Right bastard. Why are these names bastard? Good. Now I'm off to get that bastard. Is this necessary? We take no chances with bastards like you. It's clean, sir. Is this your bag? Come on, you. Yes. One of these days I'm going to get out and kill you, you bastard! Now look here. He can't keep his hands off you. The customers are always talking about it. And what about you? Always fingering me? Now look what you've done. Oh, sir. Let me help you. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Twenty to one. Twenty to bloody one. Christ damn it to hell! Don't be bloody ridiculous. Cowardly shit! I lost my job. How? Well, I got fired, that's how. What did you think? I mislaid it? You bitch, Bert, where's that bloody pen? I saw him clear as day. It was Blaney, all right. He came out of the door downstairs and walked down the alley. The beast. Miss Barling, could you describe Mr. Blaney for us? What he looked like, what he was wearing and so on? Well, yes, I think I can. He was a man in his 30s, about an inch or so under six foot tall. He had dark hair, green eyes and moustache. I estimate his weight at about 155 pounds. He was wearing a rather old-fashioned jacket with leather patches on the shoulders and at the elbows. In my opinion, it was quite unsuitable for London. He was also carrying a raincoat. That's an extraordinarily precise description, Miss Barling. 